Today's storybook is called Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase by James Dean. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch me is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover, the leprechaun, next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily? He asks. Once there was a cat named Pete, who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun, who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy? I even got candy, while Pete ends up with squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover! Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus rehearse for the recital. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Kelly practice for her match. Kelly wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make beats luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. That was a tricky storybook, eh? Catching a leprechaun isn't always that easy. Hmm. I hope everyone had a great St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great read-alouts.